Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Chris and today I have a rant for you. I'm feeling a little bit fired up so if you want to know what's got me so fired up please keep watching. So it's been a rough year right? It's been over a year just since the pandemic was called by the World Health Organization and we have been through a lot of ups and downs. There was a time where we could not leave our houses, we were in such strict lockdown. And now, at least where I am in my part of Queensland in Australia, we are able to go out quite freely. We are able to go to movies, go to restaurants, go to the shops. We don't have to wear masks. We are asked to socially distance and we are asked to wash our hands. And we are asked to stay home when sick. This is both in the community and also when you're seeing your doctor. So as a GP, I've been seeing people face to face for several months now. I think back in poor October, if not sooner, we actually started seeing people face to face again. It's probably a lot sooner than that. Anyway, one thing that we've put in place and that I know a lot of GPs have done and other doctors and subspecialists is that we ask that if you have a cough, runny nose, fever, rash, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, any infectious symptoms, that you not come into the practice. This doesn't mean you don't get medical care, we can still teleconference you or put you in a clinic where we're dressed up and protecting ourselves so that we don't get what you have and we don't transmit it on to other patients. Unfortunately, a recurrent theme is people lying to us about this or going to the shops when ill and when asked about it, they just say, look, I know it's not COVID, so it's okay. It's not okay. <laughs> it really isn't. Why? Because it doesn't matter if it's COVID or not at this point. There is so, so that, that came out wrong. It does matter if it's COVID-19. But what matters is if you are unwell, you have a viral infection or a bacterial infection, both of which are extremely contagious. We haven't had high numbers of influenza in the last year, but we sure as heck have had high numbers of rhinovirus, adenovirus, RSV, and other upper respiratory tract infections that mimic COVID-19. So let's say that you've got a bit of a cold, you're convinced it's not COVID-19 because you haven't been anywhere to catch it. Guys, if you've got a cold or a flu, you've been somewhere to catch it. You've caught a viral infection like COVID-19 or like influenza or like RSV and you're infected. That's not to say, you know, you did something wrong. It happens. It's a tale as old as time, right? The common cold. But the thing is at the minute with the global pandemic still on going a year later, we need to be conscientious of this. So say you've got a cold. I know it's not COVID, but if you then pass your runny nose, cough, fevers, anything, onto a cashier, onto other patrons, or onto someone else, they can then pass that on to more people, and then all of them, when they get their symptoms, most of them will do the right thing and go get tested, which means at least 24 hours out of the workplace. The guidelines suggest that you don't return to work until you're feeling 100% asymptomatic, that is, no longer having fevers, runny nose, or cough. So your selfishness, and I'm gonna call it, it's selfishness. When you are unwell, going out to the community because it's not COVID, is now perpetuating that same narrative onto others who now have to get tested, who now have to take time off work, and who could be passing this on to other people. COVID is not the only disease we care about. Diseases like rhinovirus, yeah, they don't have a high mortality rate. But what happens if you've got influenza A? And you pass that on to a grandma who goes out because she thinks, yep, people are going to be conscientious and not come out when they're ill. She gets influenza A, she gets a pneumonia from it and she dies. Well, that's really dramatic, isn't it? And you know, I just get really heated. Of course, I understand where people are coming from, right? I understand that life has to carry on. You, you know, you may know it's not COVID because you've got a negative test and go, oh, well, it can't be that bad. And I get it. I need to eat too, so I need to grocery shop. I need to see people, otherwise I will go more insane. I get it. I get that you can't take a lot of time off work. 
I get that people have kids who need to go to school or daycare. I get it and it's hard and there's no right answer. But now think of it from the medical perspective. You come in with, say, a sore knee or a sore back or a sore hip, something totally not contagious. I don't care if it's MSK or not. And you've hidden your sniffly nose and cough with a lot of medications, but you're still transmitting rhinovirus particles. You come in, I assume, because you've said that you're negative for all symptoms, that I'm in the, in the right, so I don't wear gloves or masks or gowns when I'm inspecting your back, your knee, whatever. You then infect me. I then need to have a COVID swab, and I cannot work until I'm completely symptom free. If I'm seeing 30 people a day, and it averages, what, five days to get over the common cold, that's 150 people that I'm no longer able to see. As a GP, I'm a contractor, which means if I'm not working, I'm not being paid. So that's five days sick, five sick days that I'm not being paid for. And again, woe is me, I understand that other people have financial constraints when it comes to being ill, but do you see the flow and effect there? Basically, the message of this video is, even if you know it's not COVID, if you're unwell, please stay home. Do not pass on whatever infection you have to anyone else. Just because it's not COVID doesn't mean it's not going to affect others. Oh boy, I think I need a nice Epsom salt bath to relax after that one. I'm sorry if I've come off seemingly insensitive or like I'm not considerate. I truly do understand where people are coming from when they want to get on with their lives, when they've either tested negative or they're in such low risk environments that they can be semi sure that it's not the massive COVID-19 that we're all worried about. But please understand it from another perspective. Please be considerate of your fellow man and woman. And please guys, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home if you're unwell, and I'll see you later.